guys, we're here in Skyrim once again today doing another vocation guide. As you can see, we're starting from the Palagio farm, and we're going to go ahead and check out what looks to be some sort of stables uh, in our map right next by. And uh, on our way there, we're going to see if there's anything in this uh, hollowed out tree stump. Well, it's not hollowed out. Um, sometimes there's stashes and things like that. See, there's this little river coming out from like a drainage sewer of White Run. We're still on the White Run outskirts right now, and uh, this is the White Run stables. So I imagine this is like operated or something by the uh, townspeople itself. Got What's going on with them? in all the Skyrim. Oh, nice. So you can buy horses from this guy. None of them older than nine, and the youngest is six. Nice. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger, or just Ali for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Suppose so. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. All right. Well, uh, one thousand gold. We have plenty of gold, but. Suit yourself. Not gonna buy a horse for right now. Right I've been doing strong. fine without one. But it'll be handy to have for later. Let's focus on taking whatever they got. My life needs a war horse, I reckon. Alright, some cabbage. Other fruits. Let's see what else is going on in these stables here. Oh look at that. I noticed him earlier. Need a ride? Oh, where? Where do you want to go? Looks like this guy can take us to all sorts of different places immediately. Nice. All right, so this is like a travel dude. We can use him to get to all those locations without having to actually traverse there on foot. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's can see. take you to any of the hold. Oh, no, I know right the one. companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. <laughs> Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. We want to be careful there. Hmm. The, rest the Battleborns are one of the farmers. The Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Interesting. See ya. So he's got a few useful pieces of info that we might uh, take advantage of later. And they have a field of cabbage. Which, uh, if you watch one of the previous location guides, you can actually take across the street to the Palasia farm and sell to the farmer there for two pop for cabbage and one a pop for these potatoes. Looks like we grabbed all that stuff. Okay. Now, oh. ooh, another cabbage field. Check that out. So you can make a whole bunch of money. And if you're trying to get one of those horses, you should have no problem stealing your way to a thousand gold in these several locations nearby the stables that we've covered so far. Um, and especially considering a lot of this stuff on the outdoors is uh, free to take anyways. You don't even have to be that crafty a thief some of those flowers. Let's check out this building here. There's more cabbage in there. More potatoes. And there's some flowers outside here. Who's this guy? Need a Jervar? horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. I already did. I want your things. There we go. What is up here? And get on top of the house. <laughs> Alright. Let's go inside. See what there is to take in here. We should also check people pickpocketing and whatnot. Doesn't look like there's anybody indoors. Uh, so we 
sweet roll, wine, coin purse, some stuff in the dresser. Hey, forged numbers business ledger. Interesting. I guess we'll come back there for uh, some sort of miscellaneous quest. Because that is definitely not an item there by accident. Oh! Hello, missus. Ooh, she's got an amethyst on her. A key to the stables, a gold necklace. Interesting. She is not going to be easy to steal from. cabbage from under her nose. <laughs> Let's move into her room. Another worthless book, an iron sword, mead, coin purse, honey nut treat, potion of minor healing. Let's see what's in the end table. Charcoal. That uh, doesn't seem to have much use. Well, oh, no, actually, I think it does, actually. Let's take that. It's used for um, certain forging. Is she coming back in here? Oh, yeah, she is. Looks like it. Well, let's be quick about this. Oh, strong box. Alright, time to save. We're gonna lockpick this thing. Oops. <laughs> and I save just in case I break too many lockpicks. Oh. This is much easier to do with a control that has force feedback. Oh, we got it though. Corundum ingot. And 116 gold. Pretty valuable. Let's see what's in the chest. Uh, end table. There we go, Berenza. Some charcoal. Nord mead. an iron dagger in a display case. Really, lady? I think we're starting to steal from some really poor people. <laughs> and some venison. I should have her back turned to me. Um, so yeah, I think we are good on uh, all the valuable items inside the stables. Let's head outside and see what's on the persons of everyone outside. Take that ring from him. And this is how we're gonna do it. New save. Yes. Alright, see if it works. Oh! What? Yes. No joke. That's awesome. I gained a level for that too. Got the fleetest thieves in all the sky. <laughs> Stole that ring right from him. Need a ride? Let's see this dude who's still out here, if he's got anything of value. Nope. Mm, nothing too good. That uh that ring was crazy though. We're gonna put that on. the minor knight. I'm not wearing heavy armor right now, but I do like to wear heavy armor from time to time, so that's a good skill our ring to have. Um, I definitely think we've scoured this area, because um, those definitely sound like the most valuable items we found. Um, and this covers the Whiterun stables. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, there's some... Uh, 
actual bits of the White Run stables, which are kind of nearby, and I guess this sort of is included. Um, <clears throat> we have this encampment of uh, Do you seek to make a purchase? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Hmm. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Khajiit. Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil. In the south, the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Oh. May your road lead you to warm sands. Let's see what he's got on him. <laughs> Uh, nothing too worth it. It's your various, uh... Ooh, honeycomb. And yeah, some apples. And carrots. Nothing of particular value. Let's see what these people have on them. Orca loaf. I haven't seen that before. The more empty this land seems. Right. Nothing on them. Uh, nothing really valuable on her either. Okay, so there's really nothing that great here. Uh, there's a tanning rack if you want to use it. Uh, these people don't have that much on them though. Uh, that's about it though. 